video you are about to watch will be a detailed explanation of how you can paint your four-wheeler to look like mine. Initially, this whole four-wheeler was yellow all over. And what I did is I made the center console black, added some uh, blackness to the fender flares, There are some things that, when doing these steps, that you may consider doing differently. I wanted to tell you about those before we actually get into the steps, because at that point it might be too late for you if you're following along with this video. The first one is you may consider, when it comes time, to remove the tape. After you apply the first coat, remove the tape while the paint is still wet. This may or may not work. Uh, the issue we ran into is that when we put the tape down and sprayed, that the spray bonded to itself so well that it, the edges wanted to lift up with the tape as we pulled it off. This might not happen if you pull the tape off while the paint is still wet. But if you do do that, then the other issue you're going to have is you're going to have to apply the tape a second time in the exact same way and respray it again. This is the only tutorial, the one that's being filmed right now, that details how to do this, that at least I'm aware of. So I hope you enjoy it and get something beneficial out of it. Step one, cleaning the four-wheeler. Very straightforward and simple. All you're doing is just removing all the dirt from the plastics. Be sure there's no dirt, there's no grease, there's nothing on there. You gotta be careful after you clean it not to uh, get your hands on it or anything like that because then you get some oils off of your hands. Although it won't affect it too much, we want the best results. So now we're on to step two. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of rainy a little bit, so uh, we moved to an indoor complex to work on it. Uh, just to keep the uh, conditions under control and so we get an even, uh, nice work. Um, instead of doing the entire four-wheeler, we're doing specific designs where the flares um, were lifted up or rises on the plastics. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, this is just what we're doing. We're going to basically use painter's tape to prevent certain areas of foil from getting coated with uh, our spray. And uh, we're about to show you a little example of how we're going to tape that off. We're using just normal painter's tape. You can get whatever kind you want, supermarket, whatever. Um, what we're deciding to do is the flares right here, don't know how well you can see them, but this comes up and makes almost a teardrop kind of um, flare. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape off the areas we don't want to get the spray and bed liner on. Um, you can do it in as long a strips as you want. You can do it in short strips, big strips, thick, doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on right on the edge, which is where I want it. It can be wherever you want it. No right, wrong way to do it. Um, as long as it's where you want it and where you want it to look best at. So I just run it down the end of it, tear it off, um, and then that's going to hang there. That doesn't hurt anything. Uh, as long as you just make sure you get it all covered nice and well, that's all that matters. Um, you might want to let it sit for just a little bit because the tape actually will bond um, slightly to the plastic, which uh, will keep paint or spray and bed liner, for this example, from seeping under the tape into under there. It's not likely to happen. Five minutes isn't necessary if you're in a hurry, but I suggest that you don't rush the process um, because you want it to look nice. We've taped over the whole four-wheeler here. Where you see the tape, these segments here are going to get black, and then we've got here, this part will be black. Same thing on the other side. We're going to keep the whole middle segment black, and we don't want to get any paint on the inside. So we taped all that over, we taped the headlight over, gas cap. You're about to watch step three. That's going to be the painting, the low quality. We're going to time lapse it for you. It's going to be a really neat effect. Hope you enjoy it. And we'll get back to you with more, better, up close details once this is complete.
on step three and get a good kind of look at this here, we just applied the first coat. We have two full cans of this uh, spray and we applied, a, we didn't even use a whole can. So this is a very thin coat. Now keep in mind, there is no specific amount that you have to use to ensure that it's coated. It's more of a guess thing. Um, we used about half of a can covering what we used and personally I think it's just a little thin. So we're going to let this dry, probably give it another coat tomorrow. It needs to be for the most part dry before you put on another coat. Some of these have an agent in it that causes it to get the rough texture. They'll react with each other and cause a bubble. We don't want that. Here we are after roughly 24 hours of the spray. I want to point out a couple things about this before we apply the second coat. First thing is we made a mistake and we're acknowledging this mistake because we don't want you to make the mistake. When we moved the boiler last to the concrete area and the area that was away from the cats and all the stuff so that it could dry without being touched or damaged or messed up, we ran a, another two cycle engine that put out some fumes and as a result those fumes actually settled onto the paint. We saw that this was black when we last did the first coating, but the gray fumes from the two cycle engine settled onto here. Now it's not going to damage or mess up anything. When we apply the second coat, what's going to happen is it's going to cover this up uh, entirely and it's going to look black again. Or at least that's what we anticipate happening. We're pretty sure that's how it's going to work out. So the first thing is don't run any engines that put out a bunch of fumes or exhaust. If wherever you're storing this at like we did. We didn't think that the fumes were going to stick to the paint, but it did. So the other thing I want to point out is with this being the first coat, there are a couple spots where you can still see the yellow paint. I see a really minute spot right in there. See if you can get that to show up on film. That may not. There it is. Yeah, right. I see here. Right there is that yellow spot. That's not tape. That is from the actual foil. There are various spots like that across the foil. That's why we're applying the second coat. So let's get started. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out in some way. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to post those there as well or send me a private message. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully I can bring you some more helpful tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.